Hello, I'm LaserJerk, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic and today I am on my custom route that I'm currently building at the moment and today I'm going to be trying out one of my favourite freight trains. Now normally when I'm making a train simulator video I normally do a express passenger steam train service but a lot of people do ask me what is my favourite freight train and not just my favourite freight train but also what's my favourite electric train and I think I might have an answer for you guys because recently I bought this the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 90 Freightliner and also some Armstrong Powerhouse container wagons which I thought was a nice touch. So yeah, I recently just bought this uh, from Armstrong Powerhouse. I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. And also, the Class 90s are one of my favourite electric trains. Well, they're not my most favourite in the world, but they are definitely in my top five favourite uh, electric trains. And also, as a freight train, it does look pretty nice. So in today's video, I'm going to try this out, see what it's like, and uh, see if it's any good. But then again, it's Armstrong Powerhouse, so, you know, I'm expecting it to be good. So if you're new to the Lazy Jet YouTube channel, why not click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification as well, so you stay notified to the channel, it's just a click of a button. And also, a big thank you to you guys for getting this channel up to 92,600 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, click subscribe now, because we are very, we are getting very close, very close to 100,000. Hoo-hoo, I cannot wait for that day. But anyway... Let's play some train sim. Yeah, it's been a while. Right, so, here we are in the class 90. Now, it's not just a normal train where you just put it in forward and then boom, off you go. You actually have to do some, uh, kind of like pre-flight checks. Although, you know, this is not an aeroplane, Oliver. Uh, you, you need, we need to do some pre-train checks, I think. Yeah, pre pre-train tracks. Anyway, so first thing we want to do is we want to turn the battery on. I think it's pressing control B. Yep, yeah, and then we've got all these warning lights. Uh, so, first things first is we need to deactivate a few things. So, probably pressing Control Shift E, uh, DSD disabled. Good. And then I think it's Control F, faults disabled. Good. Uh, we don't want any faults, do we? Now, uh, market lights on, headlights day. Um, Clipboard light, we'll have that bright. Uh, tail lights off. Um, instrument lights, yes, we want those on. Uh, do we have them dim? No, we have them bright. Uh, cab light, ooh, cab light's nice. Although we don't really need the cab light on today because you know it, it, it's daytime. So I think uh, we'll keep the cab light off. And then we've got this button, the uh, DRA. We'll just flick that off. And then we want to put the master key in. And then put our... Oh, that thing just started beeping. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh why is it beeping? Stop it. Um, oh, this is so nerve. I'm so nervous right now. And then we want to put our train in forward. Oh, then press Q to turn that off. And I think... Oh, that thing's syncing up. I think that's good. Uh, have a look outside. Yep. Lights are on, uh, we're powering up, everything looks good, it sounds great. Uh, do a little uh, two toots of the double horn, because this thing does have two horns by pressing spacebar and B, so let's give that a try. That's the B horn, and then press the spacebar. Good. Now, before we set off, we need to sort out our points, so let's see where we are. We're here in the yard, so... Let's see if we try and sort out the points so we don't end up going in the wrong direction. So that looks fine. We'll switch those points going that way. Uh, switch those points going that way. And we want to head on to the main line, but we want to be on the slow line. Because we don't want to be on the express line because we're not uh, an express service. We are a freight service. Although, then again, you can have express freight but like, we're not we're not going to be an express freight today no 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 we're just gonna be a, a a normal average freight train yeah right i think we are ready to go so a little safety beep 
Yep, I think that's good. Uh, and I think we are ready to go, although we have got one red light, ETS. No idea what that is, but, you know, I think we'll be fine. Uh, let's do another toot of the horn. Okay, just let know that uh, this train is leaving the yard. So let's give ourselves a bit of power to see if we actually start moving. So let's accelerate a bit. We're not moving. Why are we not moving? Brakes. I forgot the brakes. Turn the brakes off. There we go. It's the air brake pipe. So if, let's see if we try and release that. If it's, I think this, if it's, yeah, the brakes are off. Okay, now let's accelerate. Ah, here we go. We're moving now. Uh, we'll accelerate slowly because we're in the yard, so we don't want to go too far. So uh, we'll pull out ever so slightly. And if we press three, let's see if our train at the back is starting to move. And it is. We're using some, uh, again, we're using AP, uh, stands for Armstrong Powerhouse. We're using uh, Armstrong Powerhouse wagons, which I have to admit, they have got some great sound effects and some amazingly good detail. Only trouble is, if you have too many, it will start lagging your game. So... Try, try and keep your Armstrong Powerhouse DLCs to a minimum. Try not to add too much. So our car goes moving. Beautiful. Let's have a look back into our cab. See how fast we're going. We're about three-ish miles per hour. Um, oh, we got wheel slip. Let's put our sander on. Let's call, don't, don't cause any wheel slip. Let's have a look outside. Do another two of the horn. Nice, I do like that. So here we are, leaving the yard at five miles per hour. Five's good. Five, five, five is, is is a good, decent speed. So what my plan is is just to get this out of the yard, and I actually want to find out how fast this thing is and see if the sound effects are good. And uh, well, so far I'm looking at the detailing, and I mean the detailing is good. And so far the sound effects are are quite good. I mean I, I quite like them so far. I mean you can actually hear the uh, the locomotive working over time and the sound effects for the wagons are brilliant. I mean listen to the creaking sound of the wagons. That is a good sound effect. I like that. Right so we're doing 10 miles per hour so we'll actually ease off on the accelerator because first things first is we need to get out of the uh, of the yard area. Now if you're probably wondering why there's no scenery in the background very good reason for this. Uh, this is my custom map that I've been uh, building for the last uh, week and a half. Uh, it's not finished yet, but uh, uh, this is going to be, uh, for those of you who haven't seen my live stream last week, uh, this is going to be the brand new racetrack route uh, that I'm currently building uh, at the moment. And uh, it's not finished yet, but once this uh, route is finished, uh, I'm going to be making a lot of race videos uh, on this route. But um, only trouble is, uh, it's only a four track mainline, so... My future race videos are not going to be as big as they used to be, but we have got a, you know, a much better route. So, you know, we'll have uh, better racing, but the racing just won't be as big as they used to be. Right, so let's press 3, go into the rear of the train to see how much we've got left. God, this is actually this is actually quite a long train, I have to admit. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if UK freight trains are actually this long. Um... But, you know, like, you know, they fit in the yard, so, like, you know, I'll, I, I, I'd count that. But if you guys think that this train is way too long, like, please let me know in the comment section down below. We'll probably say, Oliver, that's a perfect length for a UK freight train. Or if you think it's not the right length, just go, it's rubbish, Oliver. But we do need to go very slowly when we're in the yard. We've got to go very careful so we don't hit something or, or cause a derailment because then we'll be doomed. Actually, I think we can speed up just a little bit more, but not too much, not too much. We can maybe get up to, uh... 15 miles per hour, so if we accelerate just a little bit, just a smidge, I think that'll do just nicely. There we go, and let's do another toot of the horn. It's good. Oh, you can actually hear the uh, the locomotive sort of like revving up a bit. I mean, it's an electric train. Do they rev? Or is it only diesel trains that, um, that rev? You can actually sort of like hear the motor like going, ooh. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I'm not an expert. I'm just an idiot that likes trains. Just because I'm a train enthusiast doesn't make me an expert. No. Okay, so we're doing 14.9 miles per hour. Speed limit still says 15. Got to follow the speed limit, Oliver. I mean, who knew? LazyJet is now following the speed limit. When have I ever done that? Never. But there you go. I mean, this is a new me, a new LazyJet. You know, got to follow the rules. So let's do another toot of the horn. Just to let the workers know, like, you know, trains on the move. You've got to be very careful. Let's press 3 and see where our wagons are. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. We're now coming out of the yard area, and we're about to uh, 
be fully on the main line, which is good. That's what we're looking for. So now we're going in the station. Speed limit now says 70, so maybe we can actually speed up a little bit more. So let's accelerate to maximum power. Yeah. Now I know what you're going to say. You'll be like, hold on, Oliver. That's York. How come you're using York Station as a... Uh, as, a, as your station. Well, the thing is, I, do you know what? I don't know why, actually. I mean, I, I actually like York as a station. I just thought it would look cool on this route. So, um, so those of you who don't like the idea of me using York as this point of the map on this route, uh, you know, you know, I mean, it's, it's route building. There's no right or wrong way to route build. You can build whatever you want. And that's why I like Train Simulator Classic, because, like, you know, you don't actually have to build stuff that is perfect. You can build your own like you know your own imagination and put it on a map and that's why i uh that's why i like this route because um it's it doesn't have to be exactly the, as it is in real life you can make whatever you want anyway back to the task at hand uh we are now uh on the main line although we do need to switch from the right side of the uh, main line to the left side but don't worry i have sw i have solved the point so i think we'll be going on the uh on the line yes we are because uh i switched the points just before we set off so that's good so we're now switching. Lovely. Wanna get like a can I get like an epic shot of this train passing by? Let's do like a little toot of the horn. Oh, that is good. That is look good looking. I do like the looks of the uh, of a class 90, especially in a freight line delivery. <laughs> and the Armstrong Powerhouse wagons do sound amazing. I mean, listen to this. Sounds good. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Oh, and I think we're switching tracks again. Oh, a little bit of G-force. Oh. Do you like to uh, pretend I'm in the cab? I know that's a really silly thing to do, but like you know, uh, it's it's called pretending, Oliver. Do you like to to pretend? Oh, going over the points again. There we go. Oh, now we're on the right track. Here we go. Now we're on the on the proper main line. So now we can go as fast as we like. And the speed limit should change from 70 miles per hour to 175 miles per hour. And here we're passing the first station. Uh, I think uh, Wendy is here uh, looking out for us. Uh, we should look for Wendy and her dog. There she is. There's Wendy and her dog. Good morning, Wendy. Do a little toot for Wendy. She's a, she's a train enthusiast. So, little shout out to Wendy. Bye, Wendy. Bye. Okay, current speed, 45.1.2.3 miles per hour. And still speeding up, looking good. Let's switch the cab to see uh, how our things are going. Yep, we're still hooked up to our wagons. Nothing's uncoupled, which is good. Uh, things are looking good. Yes, we are making good time. Let's actually check my special watch to actually see how we're doing for time. Yep, yeah, I think we are three minutes early. We are making good time. Good. So now we've approached 52 miles per hour. The sound effects should start getting a bit louder and louder. So if we press um, uh, four, I pushed the wrong button. Good job, Oliver. And I'm going to listen to the sound of, this, of, of our freight train passing. So let's have a little listen, shall we? Not bad. Oh, we're just passing our next station and we're doing, I'd say, 60-ish. I mean, 59.7, 59.8, 59.9. Hey, 60 miles per hour, which, you know, for a freight train, that is pretty fast. Oh, and I just noticed, there you go, the speed limit is now 175 miles per hour. So, there's no chance of us actually speeding on this route. See, I, th I thought of everything as I was building this route. Oh, Mr. Oliver, you have thought of everything, sir. And on to our left, I think, looks like a quarry. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was building a quarry, wasn't I? That's what I was doing. I completely forgot. And I've made some uh, lovely little hills in the distance, you know, just so it doesn't look like a 
flat, boring surface or anything. Like, you know, I, 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 I am in the process of adding detail uh, to this route. It's just route building does take a long time. And I think just up ahead is the next town. Now, I haven't actually given uh, the locations names yet. But uh, if you guys have any ideas of what I should name different parts of this route, uh, please let me know. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. I mean... Because this is this is going to be our brand new racetrack once it's finished. Um, I was thinking we need we do need to name some parts of this route. So if you got again, if you guys have any ideas, like you know, please let me know in the comment section down below. Because like you know, I'm 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 all open to to suggestions. Because you guys come up with the most bizarre but brilliant ideas. Oh, and I think we're about to pass a level crossing. Oh, let's get like a, a level crossing shot. This will be awesome. We'll go on this side. So the lights are flashing. Oh yes, that that th this this part will look amazing once I've added like proper scenery and proper detailing stuff. Oh no, these these freight wagons have some brilliant sound effects and they look amazing. Oh look, we're on a viaduct now. That's brilliant. Again, if you guys want the uh, class ninety and the wagons from Armstrong Powerhouse, again I'll leave a link in the video description below uh, so you guys can actually buy these yourselves. I mean, so far the sound effects are good, the details good. I mean, I I I'd recommend this. I definitely would recommend a class ninety because you know, especially a freight liner. The freight liner one looks amazing. Right, anyway, what's our speed now? 74.5 miles per hour. Oh, that is that is good. We are we are we are making great time. I mean, let's have a look on the mini map to see where we are. So we are here currently, looking good. I think we're almost at the halfway mark of the map, which is good. But that also reminds me, I do need to switch the points uh, for where we're stopping at. So if I switch these points, then switch those ones, then switch those ones. And then switch to these ones, and then switch to these ones, and that should put us in the yard that we are going to be dropping off our wagons at. Yes, I think that is the right uh, yard. Looks good. Just sort out the points. Yeah, looking good. Oh, and we're coming up to uh, a tunnel. Again, let's do uh, two of the horns. Oh, and let's put our lights on. Cab light. No, that's the wrong one. There you go. Ooh, it's, it's dark in here. It's spooky. Now, I've got to say, uh, while I was building this route, uh, the tunnels were a little bit tricky to do. I'm not actually very good at building tunnels um, because I hardly do them. But um, the fact, like, you know, this is, you know, my fourth, fifth attempt of making tunnels in Train Simulator, I think I did a good job. Now, here we go. Let's have a look outside. Yes, looking very good there, Mr. Oliver. I think what's our speed now? 78.9 miles per hour. That is fast. So I think we're coming up to another station, and after that one, I think we should think about slowing down because um, we're actually approaching our destination, which is where we're going to stop, pull into a yard, uncouple, and then ditch our train into a, into a siding, and that's it. Oh, look at our speed now. We're doing 80.6 miles per hour. <laughs> that's amazing that is the, 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 again for a freight train I mean this is fast I'm gonna get like a a really cool shot there we go Meow. lovely jubbly I'll tell you what every, the more faster you go the better the uh, the wagons uh, sound okay so we're passing uh, this station which hasn't got a name yet but now that this is our final uh, passing of a, of a station I think the next station is the one we're gonna be stopping at so let's have a look up ahead do 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 yep that's the station that's that that's the station we're gonna be uh, slowing down at and then we're gonna be pulling in into the yard good so I think we should uh, maybe start slowing down a little bit mr. Oliver I think uh, 82.4 miles per hour that's that's plenty fast enough so I think we should ease off on the accelerator and let it roll for a bit a little coaster we'll just let leave it coasting I mean let's have a look on the map see where we are we are here um, so we have got a little bit of a, of a journey I mean yeah I'd say it's a little bit of a journey so I think we can actually start maybe slowing down a little bit let's get it under it be under 70. I think that's a very responsible idea. I think get it, get it down to 70. 79. Maybe apply a little bit more brakes. Not too much braking, over, but just a little bit. And release. There you go. Looking good. Do another to two tone toot of the horn. I'm very uh, very horn happy today. 
<laughs> oh, look in the distance. Yep, yeah, there's the uh, there's the station. <laughs> oh, I could just see it in the distance. Um, okay, so what's our speed now? 40 miles per hour. So we're under 50, which is looking good. How's our freight doing? Yep, yeah, we've still got all our cargo. It's quite a long freight train, isn't it? But that's okay. Freight trains are normally meant to be long. There you go, and I can actually see the I can actually see the station better this uh, this angle. Yeah. Right, so we're under forty, which is good, but like you know, there's no need to panic. But we can actually start slowing it down just a little bit. Although the freight, the, the you know the, the 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 length of this train is actually pushing me forward. So we're gonna try and apply a bit more braking because we're actually gonna divert off the main into the yard. So uh, we want to go quite slow. We don't want to go too fast. Let's get like a nice. Uh, Station shot. Oh, yeah, this is nice. There we go. So let's get under 20 miles per hour. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> and that does sound good. And it looks amazing as well. So uh, come on, get under 20. Get under 20. Doing 21. Still going a bit too fast there. Because we actually are. Here's, here's the points that it's going to switch us off now. So let's get under 20. We are under 20. Good. There we go. I mean, obviously, I think we should go a little bit slower, but there you go. But obviously, we've got to get off the main as quickly as possible. We don't want to dilly-dally. So, there we go. We're travelling off the main now, and we're going to be going into the yard, which is over there. Beautiful! Looking good! Yeah! But do you know what? I don't do much freight trains, and, I, and the... Do you know what? I don't know why. Freight trains are actually really fun in Train Simulator. I actually do like freight trains, especially as one as good as a Class 90 in a Freightliner livery. I mean, you guys can agree or disagree, uh, but I think the Class 90 is probably one of the best freight trains in the world. Although that is a very strong uh, statement, but like, you know, it's, it's, it's just a matter of opinion. I mean, I, I think the Class 90 in Freightliner Green, I think is the best freight train in the world, but like, you know, people can agree or d d disagree, I mean, like, you know, again, it's just a matter of opinion, I mean, it's, it's not a fact, it's just my opinion, I mean, you guys can agree if you want to, you don't have to, um, but there we go, we're doing about 15 miles per hour, which is like, I think is the perfect speed when we're entering a yard, so let's go in first person again, we're going to be switching onto this track now, I think, yes, there we go, yeah, I think, oh, that is perfect. That is perfect, Mr. Oliver. Oh, yeah, that is definitely perfect. So, maybe we'll try and maybe accelerate a little bit now, because it's just, it's just a straight. But let's have a look see where our last freight uh, wagon is. Just past the station now. and we're, we're, I mean, we're still technically on the main, so we're not out of the... Uh, out of the danger zone just yet. We need to get our train off the main as fast as possible. Let's do a two-tone horn. Just to let the workers know that, you know, that a train is coming in. Like, you know, be aware. A train is on the move. Okay, we're, al we're almost in the yard now. We're almost off the main. Um, oh, going a little bit uh, too fast. But, like, you know, we've we, we got to get off the main as fast as possible. So we don't, like, you know, cause any blockages or, or, or delays or, or any accidents. Definitely don't want that. I think what we will do is we'll stop it by these two workers. I mean, I think if we um, have enough room, which... Um, I think we might have enough room. Uh, let's just see. I'm doing like all these checks, you know, just see, just to check if we we're in the yard. So we can actually apply our brakes a bit now. Get it maybe under 10 miles per hour. Ooh, very squeechy. Very squeechy indeed. Okay, uh, we've just passed the workman, but that's okay. I think we'll stop it right about here. I think this is the perfect place to stop. So let's uh, go in the outside shot. And we'll go uh, step five of our brakes. Get like a really cool stopping shot. See what it looks like. I'll tell you what, this is a really good looking train. I don't know what you guys think, but this is probably one of the best looking trains. Uh, as a freight train, mind you. So there we go. Freight liner stop in. Oh, listen to the sound of the brakes. They sound amazing. Very screechy, though. And stop. Oh, that is perfect. Right, now what we'll do is uh, uncouple. There we go, like so. Then switch cab, and then put tail lights on, and then switch back to the other cab. So now we should have our tail lights on in red. Yes, there they are. Release our brakes. And now we'll accelerate and go to our siding. So goodbye to our freight. That, that That's delivered. Looking good. 
So now we're doing our light train and we're just going to go right up to the, uh, up to the uh, siding, park our train and call it a day. Yeah. So let's slow down a little bit and uh, switch our... Is the, hold on, is the points uh, switched? Um, oh yeah, yeah, the points are switched. Okay, that's good. Um, oh, it's a bit overgrown here. I think we might need to ask um, uh, Farmer Bob to uh, cut the grass a bit because it is a bit overgrown here. Oh, oh, oh dear. Yeah, it's, de it's, it's definitely way overgrown here. Yeah, I think we'll have to call in Farmer Bob to uh, to, 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 to cut this grass because, like, you know, um, it, it makes the railway look a bit um, old. Right, so let's get ready to stop, and we'll park it just in front of the buffers. Right about there, I think. Let's slow it down a bit. Oh, very squeaky brakes. But if we park it about there. Right, let's have a look outside. Oh, that's perfect. Right, so now we can shut our train down. So, brakes fully on. That on off. Uh, master key out. Lights uh, off. Pentagraph down. Oh, well, let's just turn all my lights off quickly. Clipboard lights um, off. Battery off. Pentagraph down. Oh wait, hold on. Do I have to have the battery on first before? Um, yeah, hold on. And you put the pentagraph down again. Uh, which one was it? I, for I completely forgot. Shift P. I was pressing Shift P. Wait, do I have to have the master key in first? Oh, shush. Right, now let's see. Yep. Gotta have the uh, reverser on first. Right. Now, reverser off. Master key out. Pentagraph down. Battery off. Full brakes on. And... I think that's it. I think our train is in shutdown mode. Good. Well, I think that was a good success. A uh, good little test there. Um, again, I highly recommend uh, the Armstrong Powerhouse Freightliner uh, Class 90. I think it's a, it's, it's a great train to have for Train Simulator. If you guys want the locomotive and the wagons, again, I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can actually head over to the website and buy this yourself. But I guess that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to click that subscribe button. Very important. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to, but links to that are in the description below as well. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye for now. expert at this stuff um oh oh there we go <laughs> maybe